Hello and welcome to this video series where we are checking out some missions the Dungeon Crawler Game Jam of 2023. This time we will have a look at Mystery of Dalal Dur by Norz. A warrior who can't heal, a priest who can't fight. Keep them both alive while defeating the waves of monsters who guard the dragon. Alright, controls, WSD to move, Q need to turn, spacebar, left mouse button to close text. And then we have the credits for the um for the plugins and graphics used. And I was curious to see um like the title screen graphics and the, the portraits where they were coming from, but I couldn't find them. So they might be in some of the packs, but they might also be original by the author, I don't know. The level graphics are uh, coming from this level block plugin. So um, it's not forbidden or anything like that. I was, I'm just curious about um, what's made uh, by the author and what is uh, basically an uh, asset pack used. Um, yeah, the game is also kind of simple. I already had a brief look into it. And um, yeah, I will, let's jump into the game and I will show you. And here we are in the main menu. We have settings for windowed and full screen. And in theory, we have a load game, but I don't think that you can save. Maybe you can, and I didn't see it yet. I only looked into the game for like five minutes or so, if at all. Um, we create a new game and we start in the dungeon. The wall magically closes behind you. Find and defeat Dalaldur, minions hiding in the dungeon until the dragon beast reveal itself. Re slay the dragon, yeah. All right, so, and you can see that I already have my camera active here for the, for the movement because we have random encounters and they seem to appear like almost every three tiles or something. So I want to, to show you the perspective and movement right away um, because we will probably, or will definitely trigger the, account, um, uh, the combat by that. So let's talk about the perspective first. We see the walls left and right, so we have a good idea about where we are. The camera is a bit low on the low end, but on the other hand, we might play dwarfs. I'm not sure, but to me, these look like or could be dwarfs. So um, maybe that's intended that we are a bit lower. In any case, it's fine. It's just like if for the usual case, I think it, I would change it just a little bit. Um, regarding the controls, unfortunately the game does not queue up controls and that's why I wanted to show you that here. So it has, this is I think the only sound we have in the game. Um, so maybe you, maybe we go one more step. So there is a bump and then it slows down again and this looks great, but, and the turning speed is also great. But the issue is, when there is a bump and it's slowing down again, um, you don't feel like a hard stop, and that's making it a bit more complicated to, um, to think about when to press the next button for the movement. So in this case here, you will often hit the turn button before the step is executed. So I would definitely recommend to, make, to queue up one step. Because here it will end up with forward right, right was ignored, forward right, this time it worked, forward right, this time it worked, forward right, forward right, and it was ignored again, forward right, so, and ignored again. So I'm, I did them almost similar, or al almost the same every time, and sometimes um, it went through, sometimes it was ignored, just because I was a tiny bit too early, and this, of course, is annoying when you're trying to navigate through a dungeon quickly. So, um, yeah, definitely make sure that um, the stuff is queued up. Uh, yeah, besides of that, as I mentioned, um, the speeds, I think, are fine for movement. And um, it does feel... Ah, okay. So we actually um, went f much further than I was able to do last time. So we have four dwarfs and now we are in combat and I think the left thing is our warrior and this magic thing is our priest or mage, mage or something. I think it was called priest. 
So um, we can, and we can only use one action. So we will start with paralyze all. Dwarves are paralyzed and now um, they can't do anything and we can do, uh, and you can also see that we used up some mana and now we will do a whirlwind to just try and hit everyone. Uh, yeah, dwarf 3, drafts are still paralyzed. I think they are back, back active now. We can't do another whirlwind. We need to crush them very soon. So unfortunately we cannot click on them directly, but this might also be just be, I mean, the idea is probably to have the icons because of that, so that you are, uh, that you are, can properly select them. So let's try and kill someone like this dude, 15 damage and we got hit and we got hit again. Yeah, I mean, this, these are pretty rough enemies already, a uh, big group. And I kind of doubt we will survive that already. Um, Divine Blessing, we can paralyze them one, one, one more time. Um, and then I think we might already be dead. Uh, six damage. Attack this guy again. And game over. All right. We killed one dwarf and quit. Now, that's what I, why I wanted to show you the movement right away. This game can be pretty short. <clears throat> we cannot load the game and if we restart the game, you can see that it's broken. So, I need to go out of the game now. And uh, this time it worked. Because going out of the game also kind of, the game was loading for quite a bit and I had to uh, sh <laughs> shut it down with Task Manager, I think. So, um, restarting the game, let's try again. And I'm not sure if they have like different strengths in different areas. Um, these of course are now weaker enemies and we uh, have an easier time killing them. We just do a whirlwind and attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very unfortunate that there's no sound or anything and this and at the end you don't quite see what's happening. So, yeah, these are dead and we already used up most of the mana from the warrior for the whirlwind. And I think you are basically you get a warning when you want to sleep, so there's a sleep button here, a rest button. You get a warning that you can be attacked, but I don't see that there's any other basically you can probably just rest all the time and try to grind monsters that way i am not quite sure if you can actually level up or anything there seems to be an inventory the options are basically non-existent inventory is only for the warrior so we also don't have a compass so i'm not sure That's just one dwarf. I think we can deal with them. Let's just use normal attacks and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's dead. And we are dead already. So, yeah, we can paralyze, or maybe a divine blessing. The party is fully healed. Yeah, but this is not going to work. So, hit, hit, hit. Mm, we can do whirlwind again, but we will not kill anyone with that. And with that, we are toast. Crush. Mm. Attack. I mean, we can. Uh, once I start attacking, I can't stop it anymore. And we are dead already. To two enemies defeated for, and again we need to quit the game and uh, restart it. And by the way, it's creating screenshots for whatever reason. For it's resting. Um, setting full screen return new game. Uh, OBS should catch up in just a second. Yes. All right, so let's try and trigger. Yeah, now we've got an easy enemy kill. Kill. 
maybe we need to find exactly the right spot at the beginning so that we can attack. Maybe there are some weapons somewhere and you need to get to them as soon as possible or something. Okay, four of them. So, whirlwind. And... Okay, attack. Actually, not attack. Ah, uh, now I can't cancel it anymore. Okay. And we are dead. Or our priest is dead. Okay. And now quit the game and I think it... There was a loading cursor when I clicked on quit, so I think the game just died. So, no, it is properly quitting. Okay, setting full screen return new game and uh, OBS should find the game in just a second. And I will already move just a bit and we got into a fight. Let's do the paralyze all so that they can't do anything and a whirlwind. That whirlwind was pretty bad though. Crush. Okay. Attack. Mm -hmm. We should use a heal. But with so many enemies alive, heal is of course also not very constructive. Heal. Attack. 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 One more left. Attack. Attack. Now we need to rest. Yes, we are sure because we have no choice. We do have another ma uh, enough mana for another whirlwind. Yes, okay. Paralyze, paralyzed, okay. Ooh, multi whirlwind. Okay, this was a much nicer whirlwind. Attack, um, single dead, okay. But this was a lot of damage. Attack, touch, next one. Attack, mm hmm. Now we can use some of the mana to he heal, yes. And attack. So we have two teams, two enemy groups down. And here. But basically you need to rest after every single fight, otherwise um, the chance, because with the very first fight you can already die. And it seems like it's so luck which enemies you encounter, so it might not be relevant, like, um, when you are getting, where you are getting into a fight. Let's use the crush. Okay, that was nice. Crush. Okay, dead, but he's out of mana. So now we need to rest again. Because without the whirlwind, we can't fight against groups with four enemies. So let's go forward. Okay, we can use one crush. And it's dead. So there is one door, which we can open, but this seems to be a completely empty room. Um, crush. Okay, and we need to rest again. Um, I think the door was there and again I needed to press space. Yes. Crush and it's dead. Let's rest. Okay. Mm hmm. Crush. And rest. Ah, okay. Mm, paralyze all. Whirlwind. Ah, that was a bad attack. 
So that might be the end already. But let's let's try our best here. We can do another paralyze. Mm-hmm. Attack. So two left. If they keep attacking the warrior. Oh, that was a nice hit. That was a bad hit. Healing. Healing us out of mana. Okay, that should be fine. And we need to rest again, yes. I think the, the combat can be interesting. Oh, ah, there's the dragon already. So maybe that is the, the final bo boss. Um, yeah, we can try to paralyze, but then we will not be able to heal anymore, I guess. We need to do the single crushes. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Dragon hits. Okay, maybe we can just do another. Bams! Congratulations! We killed 19, 18 goblins plus the dragon. And that's it. Uh, Alright, so we did beat the game. And if I make uh, start a new game, we are already finished. <laughs> All right, let me restart the game to just um, sum it up. Full screen, return, new game. So obviously this game is extremely basic and um, kind of unfinished. I mean, uh, yes, it has a start and an end. And it's cool that um, the developer uh, also put the priority on making a kind of, um, well, not finished product, but like a pl playable thing. I pr prefer this over having, um, let's say, you have a full inventory, but then you have no enemies or something, and you cannot, or you, the game always crashes after the first room or something like that. So uh, it was at least uh, playable from start to finish. Even though this apparently is uh, like that here. <laughs> um, so yeah, so the game is very, very unfinished um, in terms of like what features there are with sound and so on. Um, so I don't think I need to talk a lot about the uh, like how, how well is the content. The duality theme, I think, is okay. We have two characters and we basically have the um, melee attacks and healing. It's basically a kind of a weak implementation of the theme, but it is there. Um, regarding, the con the, regarding the perspective, as mentioned, I think it's great. We just need to be a bit higher if we were playing humans. But if that's supposed to be dwarfs and we are lower than uh, in height, then that's fitting fine. Um, if the, uh, the the controls, as I mentioned, queuing up would be nice so that your um, your buttons are your input is not cut off. I would have liked to have a compass in the game, but. Um, I mean, obviously, there's nothing in the dungeon, and you could just have the dungeon with the first room and nine tiles or two tiles and just run back and forth until the final, final boss shows up and kill him. So, I mean, there was no point in having a compass or a minimap or anything like that, but I'm just saying that in uh, if we actually wanted to explore, then a compass would have been nice. And... Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, besides of that, sounds, there was, it's just the footsteps. The footsteps are nice, but that's it. Uh, and the graphics, yeah, they're overall very nice. I think everything fits together very nicely. I, I just don't know, like, well, if they are all assets or if the developer made anything of that. But anyways, the graphics of the game are nice. Um, so, but that's pretty much all I can say about uh, this uh, game. So that was um, Mystery of Dalal Dur by Norse. I think it's a uh, yeah, very, very basic foundation. I think you can do more with it, but um, I don't know what the background is. Maybe the developer ran out of time or just didn't have much time to begin with or yeah.
in any case, um, if you want to check it out, you can find the link down in the video description. And um, if you like to see more uh, videos, then you can also find a playlist down there with all the videos I published so far. And uh, with that, ah, and of course, you can also subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any new content. And with that, thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.